Research is out revealing that during the COVID-19 pandemic, hundreds of thousands of people died who wouldn't have if we had a universal healthcare system in the United States. So this story is simultaneously fascinating and just absolutely horrifying because the idea that we could save hundreds of thousands of lives is exciting. Wait, whoa, in the future, just by changing the type of healthcare system we had, we could absolutely change the reality of health for Americans in this country. That's really exciting. We should get to it. But then the tragic part is we already lost all of those lives that we didn't have to. And we know things aren't going to change super, you know, soon. And so we're probably going to see many more deaths in the future that could have been avoided. So what am I talking about? Well, there was research done by researchers from Yale University and they analyzed mortality data from COVID-19 and came to the conclusion that if we had a universal healthcare system, we would have saved 200 plus thousand lives just in 2020, just in one year, we would have saved 200,000 lives. So let's look into some of that. For Americans who are un uninsured and underinsured, financial barriers to COVID-19 care delay diagnosis and exacerbated transmission. So that's pretty clear. If you don't have insurance, you're not going to go get care early enough. And by the time that you're hospitalized, you know, you have to go. And that's when you finally agree to take that financial threat, that financial risk. It's too late. And then also because uninsured and underinsured people won't want to go get checked and have to take on that cost. They end up having the virus and spreading it all around unknowingly. Reading into it more, quote, universal healthcare would alleviate the mortality caused by the confluence of these factors. To evaluate the repercussions of incomplete insurance coverage in 2020, we calculated the elevated mortality attributable to the loss of employer-sponsored insurance and to background rates of uninsurance, summing with the increased COVID-19 mortality due to low insurance coverage, incorporating the uh, demography of the uninsured with age-specific COVID-19 and non-pandemic mortality, we estimated that a single-payer universal universal healthcare system would have saved about 212,000 lives in 2020 alone. So we already had a bunch of uninsured people. And then you add on top of that, all the people who lost their jobs during the pandemic. And so now they don't have insurance through their employer. And this research found that that way increased their likelihood of dying of COVID-19. And again, I just want to appeal to a little bit of your common sense. If you don't have insurance, you're going to wait till the last minute to go get any sort of care. We all know this. Or if you're underinsured and you know, oh, most places, if I go here, here, that's not gonna be a network or they're gonna charge me a lot for that. So with a lot of these illnesses, if you don't go early enough, you're not gonna be able to survive it. And so that's one of the reasons they cite as why this is the conclusion they came to. And then, that's the lives lost. You also have a big financial cost. Quote, we also calculated that $105.6 billion of medical expenses associated with COVID-19 hospitalization could have been averted by a single payer universal healthcare system over the course of the pandemic. These economic benefits are in addition to $438 billion expected to be saved by single payer universal healthcare during a non-pandemic year. So why is that? Why is there billions of dollars to be saved if we had a universal healthcare system? Well, the way that a single payer universal healthcare system works is you're pretty much replacing the insurance industry with a government plan. So, I mean, we all know Medicare, everyone who's on Medicare loves it. It's just expanding that to everyone. Medicare works really well for people. Everyone's going to use it. But pretty much what you're doing is if everyone's covered by Medicare, that's replacing the middleman of all those insurance companies. And so instead of you buying an insurance plan and the insurance company pays for your health care, and then obviously you also contribute to paying for your health care. So just think about that. There's you, there's the health insurance companies, and then there's the health care providers. The health care providers and the insurance companies have to make a profit, right? They have to make money. So that means that between you and the actual care that you need, there's this whole other industry that has to make money off of you. So all we're saying is that's an unnecessary industry to have when a Medicare-like system can replace that where it's not trying to make a profit off of you. It's just getting you the necessary care that you need. And I know you've heard this before, but every other developed country has a universal healthcare system. We are the one that stands apart from all the developed countries. We don't have a universal healthcare system. And lo and behold, every time independent groups analyze all of the country's performance in healthcare, America ranks very low on that list 
of developed countries. They'll consider cost, access, healthcare outcomes, all those things, put it together, and we rank very low because we don't have a system like a lot of these other countries have. It's a lot better. So I honestly don't know what could be a larger endorsement for a universal single payer healthcare system than looking back at this tragedy of COVID-19 that we had and realizing it was much worse because we didn't have this system. And again, I'll say this one more time. It's, it's the new way I explain this. Medicare is something that everyone loves, Republicans and Democrats. How about we just lower the Medicare age down to 60 and then 55 and then 50 and then to zero and everyone can be covered by Medicare. Again, crazy radical idea. Oh wait, every other developed country does it. So clearly it's not that crazy. We can absolutely do it.